In this video, let's talk about how MVC works in the context of a ASP.NET Core web application. When a user requests a resource from the browser, the browser sends a request to the server. After the server receives the request, when we use MVC, the first thing it does is that it would route the request to the controller. Right, because MVC stands for Model, View, and Controller. Here, the request is directed to the controller. The controller is nothing but an instance of a class. It plays a role of a coordinator. Here, when the controller receives the request, it starts processing the request by calling some other components that implements the business logic. Where that component is, we don't have to worry about right now, but the end result is that the data that is needed will be loaded in something that is called model. In most cases, a model is also an instance of a class. And right now, this instance of class is hosting the data that needs to be displayed on the page. The next thing that the controller does is that it feeds the model to the view. The view basically contains a HTML template. So the controller feeds the model, which is the data, to the HTML template, and then it combines the data and the template together to generate the final HTML. Afterwards, the view is returned back by the controller to the browser as part of the HTTP response. So to summarize, ASP.NET Core maps the request to the controller. The controller acts as a coordinator. It loads the data into the model and then feed the model to the view. When the data and the view templates are combined together, the final HTML is generated, and then the HTML is returned as part of the response to the browser, and the browser renders the HTML. After that, the user sees final page. So that's how model view controller works within the context of ASP.NET Core web application. And here you can see that the view is the place where the UI representation and logic is handled the model is where the data is populated. The controller is the coordinator. Everything has its own place. All of the responsibilities are separated. And this is following the principle of separation of concerns. Different things are taken care of by different components in the framework. For developer, our main goal is to focus on implementing the business logic. And typically, the business logic is implemented in different other components. So I'm going to say application logic and the controller class basically invokes the application logic. The data is then populated into the model. So let me remove the application logic. Let's keep this picture focused on the MVC pattern. Hope everything is clear for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. If otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.